The following tutorial will cover how to annotate a transgenic host expressing a pathogen's gene in Phycanto. In this tutorial, we will be covering a very specific interaction between a pathogen and a host, which is the case when a transgenic host is expressing a pathogen's gene. So the first thing is to create a metagenotype that we need. So we go to metagenotype management and we choose the overexpressor of the pathogen gene and in the case of the host, triticum aestivum. And I choose a variety and then in this case there is just one. And then I just click on make metagenotype. Once I've done this, the next step is to annotate the pathogen host interaction phenotype and I can just click here. And now I will start typing the phenotype that I observed, which in this case is an increased extent of pathogen associated host lesions. There are no trial terms here, so I can just click on proceed. And now I need to choose the evidence code, which means how I observed this phenotype. In this experiment, it was a macroscopic observation and it was a quantitative one. And now here I need to put the experimental conditions. And this is where I will specify, right, that this overexpressor was done in a transgenic host. So I need to start typing in that the liver mechanism was a pathogen gene expressed by a transgenic host. I should also add that this was done with inoculation of a wild type pathogen. If there are other conditions that I want to add, I can just keep on typing and they will appear. If I am done, I just go on to proceed. Once again here, I can add more um, annotation extensions. For example, um, if this was compared to a controlled genotype, right, a tissue that was infected. In this case, I want to say that the host tissue was in fluorescence. There are more options if any of this apply, otherwise just click on finish. And I want to also put in the extent of infectivity because uh, my phenotype was an increased extent of the lesions. So I can click on there and choose that there was an increase in the virulence. Okay, and then I click on proceed. Now I need to say uh, in which figure I observed this and if there are any extra comments that I would like to add. So this was taken from figure five and in the comment section I want to make a comment about the control that was used for this experiment because the control is an empty vector and this is something that you cannot curate with any of the options. So you need to put a comment in here. Then once I'm done, I can click on proceed. And now I have my new pathogen host instruction phenotype that covers this very specific situation. If you have more specific queries, do not hesitate to contact us here at Vicanto, where we will be more than happy to assist you.